at the water gardens, Elaria, still in mourning clothes, observes Tristane Martel and Marcella Baratheon from a distance. She approaches Prince Doran Martel, but her path is initially blocked by Captain Ario Hoda. Elaria threatens Ario before the captain is ordered by Doran to stand down. Angrily, Elaria scolds Doran for his apparent inaction at the news of Oberon's death. Doran plans to bury and mourn his beloved brother, but Elaria and Oberon's daughters want the Dornish people to take up arms and avenge their fallen prince. She also voices her contempt for Marcella and wants to harm her in order to take revenge on Cersei, who she deems responsible for Oberon's death by falsely accusing Tyrion of Joffrey's murder in the first place. Doran strictly forbids this, stating that under his rule, they will not mutilate little girls for revenge. Elaria voices doubts that Doran will remain in power if he continues to do nothing and leaves. She later meets with Obara, Nymeria, and her daughter Tyene, telling them that Doran will mourn for Oberon but won't do anything. As Obara points out that they have no army without the support of the prince to challenge the Lannisters, Elaria says that they won't need an army because they have Marcella, despite Oberon's earlier promise that they would never harm her. Nymeria informs her that there's perhaps a problem, presenting her the merchant captain who smuggled Jaime Lannister to Dornay and tried to sell this information to Obara, just to end up buried in the sand. Elaria realizes that Jaime has come for Marcella and asks the three which way they choose, Doran's or hers. Tyene is the first one declaring for her, followed by Nymeria and then Obara, who makes her point by telling how she first met Oberon, when she made her choice, and then she uses her spear to kill the captain. Elaria and the Sand Snakes return to the Water Gardens to kidnap Marcella and use her for their revenge against the Lannisters. They swear, by the words of House Martell, to do what is needed to avenge Oberon. However, Prince Doran had foreseen their attempt to take Marcella and his guard, led by Ario Hoda, arrests the Sand Snakes and Elaria for their treachery. Ario brings Elaria and the Sand Snakes before Doran, who gives Elaria an ultimatum. She can either choose to swear allegiance to him, and that she will not try something like this again, or she can choose death. Restraining tears, she kneels and kisses his hand. Doran says that he believes in second chances and she is forgiven, but sternly warns her that he does not believe in third chances. Elaria is later brought before Doran to receive Jaime, though she is openly hostile towards him, calling him Kingslayer and refusing to drink a toast to Tommen as the new king. She is visibly shocked when Doran announces he will send Marcella back to King's Landing along with Tristane, robbing her of her revenge. On her way out, she insults Doran, who in turn threatens to kill her if she speaks to him like that again. Later, Doran issues Elaria an ultimatum. Pledge allegiance to him, or die. She tearfully complies. She later visits Jaime in his quarters and pretends to make amends with him, acknowledging that neither he nor Marcella played any part in Oberon's death. She then expresses her knowledge of Jaime's undying love for Cersei, as well as the fact that Marcella is not Jaime's niece, but his daughter. Before leaving, she mocks him for not being born centuries ago into the Targaryen family, in which position his incest would have been accepted. As the Sand Snakes say goodbye to the expedition back to King's Landing, Elaria kisses Marcella on the lips. As the ship is away in the horizon, Elaria wipes blood from her nose and takes an antidote for the poison coated on her lips which has just taken Marcella's life on the boat, and walks away silently, contemplating what will follow when Doran finds out that she has betrayed him and put his son's life in danger. She then takes a napkin from Tyene and wipes the poison from her lips, which she then threw into the sea.